Good morning, it's Tanya from Tati Treasures. So today I am um, making some fabric clusters or fabric snippets. Um, and these are for the botanical series. I'm going to have 10 sets uh, to put in the Etsy shop and I'm going to make myself some so I've got some embellishments ready for when we start making uh, other things so that's those first what I did to make these is I went through my jar what's got all my bits of scraps in I separated it between um you know brights and neutrals um, and then I put them all in a tin um, and then I searched through um, what I'd got anything smaller than about four inch I chopped up um, to use because I thought four inch it's just about right for a tag topper but it's still you know quite small so um, yeah, I cut all those down. I didn't cut into any, you know, big rolls or, or anything. It was uh, mainly using scraps, which is brilliant because I've now emptied my jar uh, and I've got no, you know, little, little bits. So I've put everything that I need into this little tray. So these are kind of my bases. So... I've got that for a base and and that... Then I've got, um, I forget what that's called. Oh, burlap deco ribbon, something like that. Um, and then these are all the scraps that I've just, was either that small anyway, or I've kind of cut them to, to that um, measurement. So they're all quite neutral. There's an odd bit of, of green in there. And then I've got, this last bit of, well, I've got that bit of our lash trim and this last bit on this roll here. And I just went through my buttons and just pulled out uh, brown ones and, and green ones. And I think on the other, I might have some, some beigey coloured ones. So that's that. The thread I'm using is is this one. It's a linen thread. Um, I had bought it for the machine, sewing machine because I really like the colour, but it was too thick to go through the sewing machine, but too thin to use, uh, like to sew in signatures and things. So this has been uh, perfect, <clears throat> but normally I would just use normal cotton, but I thought, well, I might as well use this up first. And like I say, it's the right colour. Um, I have <laughs> got my needles ready. I've done four, so... Hopefully that will do us. So I'm going to have the, the netting one on the bottom and then just pick another one. And then have another one there. Then I'm going to just snip some eyelash trim. I did do some with them. Um, I save all my cottons up when, when I've sewn uh, all the bits that you cut off. I just put it into a ball and I had been putting some of those um, underneath the button as well. So that's used all those up. Now I want to place that together. So when I put my button on, I'm catching the eyelash trim, I think I've just, oh no, I didn't put um, thread in that one. So yeah, that I'm catching the eyelet. Now I'm gonna go down instead of going up because I've been tying them off at the front and leaving the strings a little bit long because it adds just a bit more decoration uh, to it. So I'm not knotting it off, I've left perhaps a bit too much about two inches then I'm just going to go up and down tend to go up and down between six and eight times I just give it a little bit of a wiggle just to make sure everything's in sturdy sometimes some of the pieces 
um, drop out because they've not got caught and I either then sew another piece underneath um, because sometimes they look a bit bare if just one of the things comes comes out so I either do that or sometimes I glue it um, in oh, I can't find the hole um, or if it looks fine without it I'll just just leave it leave it out that's it so I think I've done this about four times so yeah really quick easy great for using all your bits of bits of stuff <laughs> all your stuff I think I think I might have gone up and down in the same same hole if I do that I just cut them off um, at the end so this will probably be the last the last one so I shall cut that off and I'm just going to get both of the strings and I'm just going to knot it knot it off with it being this linen as well it's just that bit bit thicker I suppose you could take some embroidery floss um apart it's um you've got to be careful about your thickness of your thread that you're using because i've found with my needles if you use um a wide-eyed needle then the needle's too wide to go through the actual buttons so the needles i'm using have got really quite tiny tiny eyes on so i'm just trying to get the thread and pull it through again just to double double knot it oh, and i'm having issues as you can probably see oh come on that's it that's that and then i'll just cut this one off and then just leave it like that i'm gonna say you can always cut the threads off a bit more as you use them same as if you put it on something and say you know that bit was in the way you can cut into them and then shape them so i really like that one so that's the first one i'm going to say they're going to look very similar because i'm using all the same same stuff so i'm hoping that i can um think of something else to use the rest of the bits and and bobs because um, I'm determined to use all the bits first before I start um, cutting cutting into anything because when I was going through like my little bag of sorry silk and seam binding and stuff and then I was pulling things out there was things like what was only like two inches long and it's like well why are they in in with them because I normally just put my real scrap bits in my jam jar but from now on if there's anything smaller than like three inch I'm going to put it straight into my uh, scrap jar and then I know if I'm looking for scraps again, that that's all I've got to hunt in. Um, so yeah. These uh, butterflies I had oh, probably about two years ago from eBay. I think they came from China. There was a mixed um, bag I think there was like 50 or something some of them was very bright um I actually bought these um and stuck them onto um dream catchers when I was making the dream catchers but um yeah I've just used <laughs> like the the greens and there was some like yellowy brown ones which I thought was you know they was quite neutral so again, I'm just going to get my strings and put it around. Oh, it's another dark, 
and wet and miserable day out there. And so I've not been up very long. Um, and I've just looked out the window and you just go, ugh. But I woke up at, at seven and it was absolutely pitch dark. And I thought, oh, I'm not getting up yet. It, it just makes you not want to, to you know, jump out of bed. Um, so I didn't get up till just gone, gone eight. So I've had to um, get Eleanor up and make sure she's on the computer for ten to nine to start her, her lessons. So she's down there doing that. I think Colin's on the settee. Tried to get him to go outside uh, when I went down to make my cup of tea. Um, he looked outside, grunted and got on the settee. So he doesn't want to go out there. Yeah, just stab myself. Yeah, the last two days, because I've made um, a load of clusters in, in creams as well, which is, um, and added bits of pink and lilac. Um, and I made, I think I made about 18 sets. Um, but yeah, that's all I've really done the last couple of days. I've felt really quite tired and a little bit fed up, but... Um, yeah, I will have mentioned that there was some, you know, stuff going going off and, and things. And I think, um, yeah, I think my mind had been working overtime and I started to get a little bit anxious and things. Um, and I think I'd just worn myself out and I just felt really frustrated and fed up. Um, but I wanted to do something, so... I just sat for two days making clusters and it really um, kept me focused. Um, I think that's going to be too small to... Sometimes I've just not got enough thread to, to do them, but it, it's secure enough. Um, yeah, it just kept my mind um, focused because all I was, you know, thinking about is not stabbing my finger. Um, and obviously, <clears throat> you know, it wasn't exhausting. Um, so, it, um, you know, gave me some time to kind of rest. Uh, but I was still doing. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was good. And so I don't think my head could have handled... Um, you know, doing any kind of big project, I'd, I'd probably made made a mess. Um, so I thought, yes, I shall make some of these. And say so I really do enjoy watching um, people sew. And you know, if anybody had just said to me, "Do you want to watch a video of somebody sewing?" I'd be like, no. But um, yeah, then once when I I think it was probably Roxy Creations who I first saw do some sewing. And I really enjoyed it. It was so relaxing. And in fact, they're the kind of videos that, that I'll save and put those on as I get into bed. Um, <clears throat> and I find them quite therapeutic. Just turn the volume down a little bit. Um, so you can actually fall asleep. And yeah, just sit watching that, and that's all. You, all you've got to concentrate on watching, watching the needle go, go in and out. So that should be that one. So knotted that twice. Yeah. Okay, that's that one. I can't really do any any different because it is all the same. Have I got anything else green in here? Oh, <laughs> a little tiny piece. Oh dear. 
I mean, why? Why Why did I save that? <laughs> Might as well use all that there. Again, I think if anything's smaller than an inch, I'm not going to save it in future. It's just crazy. Uh, I think I've used all the butterflies. So that's all the butterflies gone now after that 50 that I bought two years ago. I also had some little wooden uh, stamp buttons, so I've put those on um, the pink uh, ones. So there was like little postage stamps of um, like Paris and things like that. Um, so I thought, oh, that's a good good use of, of those. I'd bought them originally. Um, to make them into like paper clips and never got round to it. Right, that's that one. So obviously if you're not doing botanical you, you can do these anyway with anything so just go all three scraps and if you haven't got any scraps I would start off with cutting some you know around inch say they're about just over an inch you want some that size and then some about half an inch and then you know just some little bits uh, for the top so I don't really think about where I'm placing it I just make sure that you can see what's underneath so I'll probably do that off centre a little bit so I can see the the green, I've just seen a bit of green there, use yes, that. Pop that there, let's cut some eyelash trim. I'd got two balls in this colour. Um, it was one of a, my good finds at the charity shop. You'll have heard me say that it's very rare. Um, I find anything at my charity shop, but um, I did once find um, a bag with, I think there was six balls of um, eyelash trim, and there was like two lots of, of three different sorts, I've just gone all the way through with that one. And there was this colour, and then a chocolate colour, and then a different beige colour. So that was a very good find. That, that was a, a long while ago now. So I've still got the two balls of this colour and I thought, well, I might as well use, use all that with that. I can't really see the holes because <coughs> the wall's gone over the, the button, which is fine. Gives it a bit of bit of interest. And so when you're using these, if they're not big enough for your project, you can always then get something bigger and just stick them stick them down onto them. This is only oh, I hate that when I go through the same. Well, it's not through the same one, is it? It's I'm going to tie it off now and then cut it. Yeah, it's when you go over um, and then it catches it. I'll do three on that just in case 
I don't know if it'll fall to bits when I've cut that that bit off. Oh, I'm having a fight fight with the scissors. Right, cut that off. Fine. Like I say, if you haven't managed to catch everything and things are looking a bit, you can always then just dab a little bit of glue underneath. Um, I suppose if you start pulling them, they're not, you know, they, they are going to fall to bits, like it's not caught that. So I could always. I'll have to have a sip of my tea in a minute. Let's put a dab of glue on it. Just lift the lace up and just pop it. Up. That's it, just pop it down. There we go. Right, two more left. So let's get these stacked up. I think I'll go on top with that one. Go like that with that. Use a bit of that fabric and that is some brown lace with that or we'll use that bit of thing I say <coughs> that's them let's get two buttons out I use those two up and then I might as well use that that bit up on both of them like so the, this is now set up for my next project i need to put a few more um things in it so i really like this tray with like four little sections right that can go over there let's um put that on my glue just have a quick sip of tea and then we'll finish these two off and, and that's it. Right. Just pop the wall under that. Like that. Yeah, oh, that's got no thread in it. That one. <laughs> Let's pop these back. I've lost so many needles over the last few days. I'm just expecting somebody to go, ow. Um, I've searched round and I've hoovered and I've swept. So hopefully I have um, caught them because I don't call in to get one in his, his fault. <laughs> don't tell Eleanor that I didn't <laughs> I didn't say that about Eleanor. I don't hate anybody to get them in the, in the foot. It would be rather rather ouchy. Plus it's that it actually makes you jump and I think that's what makes it so ouchy. It's that unknown into you like oh, what was that? So I'm guessing I'll have either swept them or over them up. Or they'll be down the floorboard somewhere and they'll never, never resurface. Well, I'll not be able to tie this one off because I've got no thread at the front. So I'm just going to go back through the stitch and then just knot, knot it off. So that's that one. Then I should just have enough thread in here to do to do the next one, and that that will be it. So I do hope that you do some. If you're doing some or planning on doing some, let me know. Um, let me know what theme you're doing them in, what colours you're using them for. Um. You know, even like boho ones, if you're using like purples and, you know, the the luscious colours um, and then use some gold buttons um, 
that would be really nice or you could even sew um, some like bell charms and yeah you could even sew charms on them couldn't you so yeah I'm sure you can do them to to whatever but I thought these went really well with the botanicals I'll just go through one more and that's that just go through the back I can't really see the stitching if you wanted to add these to like a paper clip or something you could do that that as well I'm going to say they're really handy embellishments so we'll play with them later on in in the series you'll see me getting them out and, and using them so that's that so we've just sat and made eight in less than um 30 minutes so pretty quick quick craft for eight little embellishments so thank you very much for joining me today and i shall see you very soon bye for now